Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the double derivative. Okay, so beforehand, we've looked at dy dx. Now we're going to look at something called d2y dx squared. So start off just with a little example. We're going to say y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x plus 7. Okay, so we know how to calculate dy dx. dy dx is going to be equal to 8x minus 3. Okay, and we can differentiate this again if we want to. Okay, so if we you say d2y dx squared. Okay, so that means we've differentiated it again. And then it's the same rules as before. So it's not like there's a sec there's a different rule for second derivatives, it's called, or double derivatives. You just differentiate it again. So if you differentiate 8x, it'll go to 8, and then the minus 3 will go to 0. So d2y dx squared is just equal to 8. Okay, uh, and we'll talk more about what that means later. I just want to introduce you to it now and make sure you're comfortable with it. It's no different, it's just the exact same as what we've seen before. So I'll just do another quick example here. Say if our first one, instead of being this, say if we had y is equal to 8x minus 3 was our first one. Okay, that means dy dx is going to be equal to 8, because 8x will turn to 8 and minus 3 go to 0, and d2y dx squared is equal to zero. And I just want to show you that to make sure you know that, that that's okay as well. You can get zero as an answer if dy dx is a constant. Okay, um, so yeah, points I want to make about it. I'll do these in green. So I'm just going to write these out just to make sure you know them. It's the same rules of diff, I'll say. So same rules of differentiation. Um, also, if you see it in a different notation, so remember we have f of x, okay? When you differentiate that, it goes to f dash of x. And if you differentiate that to get the double differentiation, it's f double dash of x. Okay, so that makes sense anyway. So I'm just show you that. So if you do see it, you're, um, you're comfortable with it. But most of the time, I'll be using this notation here. So it's just if you do see it, you can, kind of, you can change it to this if you want. It doesn't make a difference. Um, what it means then as well, I'll just write this out. So this might not make much sense yet, but it's the rate of change. Rate of change of the rate of change. Okay, so that might be a bit confusing now, but it'll uh, hopefully become more clear when we do some examples. Um, I just wanted to say it now so you're kind of used to used to hearing it. Rate of change of the rate of change. And then kind of a tricky example, not a tricky, but just kind of a different one. So if you have y is equal to sine x, then we know that dy dx is going to be equal to cos of x line down and again you can differentiate that again and d2y dx squared is equal to now minus sine of x because if you differentiate cos x you're going to get minus sine of x okay this isn't something you have to learn off at all but it just kind of uh, it just might confuse some people that if you have, have to differentiate it then differentiate it again and it kind of goes back to almost the same thing don't worry about it I just want to show you just in case you might have seen it and get confused but again this is just introducing the, the double derivatives so we're going to look at where we can apply this later in the next few videos, okay? 